King Wrestling fans, surprise, surprise, surprise. No first minus out here this week. This is your lucky night, wrestling fans. You get the flamboyant one, that's me, Freddie Fargo, for an entire 30 minutes with his riveting conversation. Now, Burt Prentice will not be here tonight. We've shipped him off to the hospital. We've filled him full of Dramamine because his tongue was giving everybody in Arkansas motion sickness. Now, focus in on this match right here, ladies and gentlemen, from the ASU Armory last Monday night in Jonesboro. What we have here is a prime example of what I've been telling you about people from Arkansas. This is Man Mountain Mike against Sexy Steve Stratton. As I said, this was Jonesboro, Arkansas last Monday night. Now, I want you people to look at this Man Mountain Mike. This is what I come out here, and this is what I tell you about every single week that I have to put up with when I come into the state of Arkansas. Take a look at that man, ladies and gentlemen. How many food stamps do you think we had to send him to fill that body? That's what I'm trying to get across to you. We up here in New York are sick and tired of you corn-fed Arkansans taking our money. Now, Steve Stratton, that's the smart move there, buddy. Keep that man down. He's too big. As long as he's on the mat, you've got the upper hand. Don't let him up. Do not let him up. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let me explain something here. Little stipulation in this match. The loser of this match must leave Ozark Mountain Wrestling. Now, I would say at this point that Sexy Steve is the underdog in this match, not because he's any less of a wrestler than Man Mountain Mike, not because he's any less of a man than Man Mountain Mike. He is at a disadvantage because this guy is just so huge, so bulky, you can't move him you can't hurt him he has no talent he's just got a lot of size and you fans out there are eating this up you just love this hillbilly pig farmer now steve stratton you should know better than that buddy that's not a smart wrestling move maybe uh no come on steve use your head he's gonna pick stratton up just like a rag doll toss him around steve you have no chance unless you put man mountain mike on his back an attempted clothesline miss. There you go, Steve. Take him down to the mat. That's your only, only hope. Oh, no, 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 not this. Oh, Stratton, I wouldn't want to be you right now. Ladies and gentlemen, look. Oh, no, no, this is brutal. You people think I'm brutal? Look at what you've got right there in your own backyard. Oh, no, Man Mountain Mike is going up for that dreaded splash. Steve Stratton, I wouldn't want to be you. No, golly. Good night, Steve Stratton. It's a three count. Man Mountain Mike is your winner. We'll be back right after this. With me now, ladies and gentlemen, Man Mountain Mike, who's just defeated sexy Steve Stratton, and he has to leave town for 30 days. But while I asked you to come over here, I saw on the booking sheet this week, you're getting ready to go to Manila. You're getting ready to go see all the great fans in the Hardy again, back up to Piggott. And I know you asked me earlier that you had a special, special message for all those fans. I, yes, I'd just like to say I'm looking forward to seeing them and signing some autographs for them. Just come on out and watch us. All right. Man, my mice coming to your town real soon. Hi, fans. This is Cousin Betty here at the ASU Armory. Yeah. yeah. We're ringside waiting on Cousin Bert. Late as usual. Cousin Bert's always late. It's a family thing with him. Oh, here he comes. I can't believe this. He's got Dr. Mark Levinson, well-known cardiologist in the Paragol Jones area, and they have been to the Steak and Shake, and I hope that's for me. Forget Dr. Mark. I got food. I, I that's got, mine. I haven't had supper. I got... You, you got it. Cousin Bart, have you, you got that been, for me. Have you ever been to the Steak and Shake? Have I ever been to the Steak and Shake? I go to the Steak and Shake every Sunday at 3 o'clock, like clockwork. Give me that. <laughs> How you doing, wrestling fans? Welcome to the ASU Armory. Give me my sandwich. With me here is Dr. Mark Levinson, part owner. Man, that's a good sandwich. Yeah. Give me this sandwich. First. Anyway, man, that's stick and shake food. Well, hey, welcome to wrestling. Well, thank you. I didn't mean to turn my back on you. That sandwich was great. I want you to know that that is the special Burt Prentice triple steak burger with cheese. 
Hey, steak and shake. Name the sandwich after me. You can't say that. Got onions on it. I don't eat onions. You eat onions. You can have Yeah, onions. tell the world about, tell the world about, ooh, that was really good food. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you really want a good shake, I mean a good, good milkshake, there's only one place. Where, fans? Steak and shake. That's Yeah, open it up. <laughs> I am sorry. I hope we air this thing. We get a little crazy here on wrestling sometimes. I'm sorry I was eating, but man, this wolf. Sorry you were eating eating my sandwich. You've already had one. Yes, you have. I had two. Oh, I knew it. I knew you had. I'm a growing boy. Yeah, you're growing, all right. You're going to grow right out of the family if you don't watch it. What she's saying is my stretch marks have stretch marks. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, seriously, for a great meal, a great sh this shake. It's delicious. Okay, it's great. It's great. We've got Dr. Mark with us here. I think we should mention that he has a new office in Paragool, and we are so tickled to have him there. Uh, he's working at the Arkansas Methodist Hospital. Do you want to tell us what's going on in your new office? I want I want to know what kind of doctor you are, seriously, because, I mean, we got a lot of a lot of fans out there that need doctors from time to time, so tell us what's really going on in your life. Well, I'll tell you, I am a heart doctor, and I'm interviewing to be the official doctor for Ozark Mountain Wrestling. Wow. Well, the interview is over. You got the job. He's the new official physician. Anything he wants, you bring me a milkshake every week. You got a job. Let me tell you, this is wonderful food. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, it's on Caraway Road, and it's really easy to find. Steak and shake. <laughs>